So today during work, I was uh, scrolling Reddit, you know, as one does when they don't want to do any work. And I possibly came across the worst sports take in the history of sports takes. It's a comically bad sports take now in hindsight. Uh, Reddit user so yeah nah found a very hot take from an old NFL forum back in May 1998. Does anyone else think that taking Manning first was the worst pick ever? That Manning they're talking about is none other than Peyton Manning, five-time MVP, two-time Super Bowl champion, a consensus top three quarterback of all time, and this guy back in May 1998 thought that Peyton Manning was possibly the worst first overall pick of all time. In hindsight, that is possibly the worst take in the history of sports. <laughs> that is bad. I'll read the entire take for you here. Robin McCarty, back on May 8th, 1998, posted, Does anyone else think that taking Manning first was the worst pick ever? I see Gino Toretta over again. Why would you take Manning when Leaf is clearly the best college quarterback since Bledsoe? And what a coincidence that they're coming out of the same school. Washington State's offense is perfect for the pro system. I think Leaf will be able to come into the pros and start making an impact his first year. Although I think the AFC West is the most competitive division in all of the NFL, I think the Chargers will start making some serious noise within two years, all due to Leaf. And for Manning, I think he'll be overwhelmed by the difference between college and the pros. Tennessee's a good school if you play ladies basketball, but I can't name one good quarterback to ever come out of that system. I think Leaf coming from Washington State system in the Pac-10 competitiveness will have a much easier time adjusting and becoming an all-star. What do you think? This post was made about a month after the 1998 NFL Draft where Peyton Manning went first overall. And if you don't know, the Leaf that Robin is referring to in their post is Ryan Leaf, the second overall pick in that draft who was a quarterback that went to the San Diego Chargers. After the 1998 season, Manning broke the rookie passing touchdown record. It's a record that held for about 20 years until Baker Mayfield passed it in his rookie season. But Manning also broke the rookie interception record. He had 26 passing touchdowns and 28 thrown interceptions. This man almost had a Jameis Winston 30 for 30. Peyton Manning was a gunslinger back in his day. This take was so bad, I actually think it is the exact opposite of what is said. This person said that Manning could be the worst first overall pick ever, but Peyton Manning is probably the best first overall pick ever in the history of the NFL. So I just had to share this take with all of you. It is crazy that somebody could have been this wrong. You had a buddy that's making whatever claim about something, and you're like, you're an idiot. You're insane. How could you even say that? Just know in the back of your head, there's someone out there who said that Peyton Manning was going to be the worst first overall pick in NFL history. There's no take that'll ever be worse. Max Kellerman saying Tom Brady falling off a cliff. It ain't worse. There's no way. Whatever Stephen A. Smith says every day, no, nothing's topping this. There's nothing that can top this. I can't believe it. Yeah, we've we've reached the peak. We reached the peak back in 98. There's no worse sports take than this one. Now, I have a take here that is not as bad. Nowhere near as bad. Well, I don't think so, at least. My take is that if you subscribe you're going to be happy that you did it. Come on, hit the subscribe button. It's easy. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.